Wherefore now, let the fear of the Lord be upon you. Take heed and do it. For there is no iniquity with the Lord our God, nor respect of persons, nor taking of gifts. Look, this is the problem in America. We've got uh, lobbyists. We have political action committees. We have a revolving door from politicians that go and work for the companies and they come back in and then they go to a different political office and they work for secret societies and they work for Hollywood and they, they work for all these weird companies that are just trying to extract things off the people. Senators getting corporate cozy jobs because they pass some law in favor of the job they go work for. Look, it's like, it's like the wolf is in the hen house and we voted him in because he was a Republican. Churches have been fooled. We've been duped. We pick the wrong people too many times. We vote them in to protect us, and they're, they're just taking from us and stealing from us. And we heard it this last year. Boy, if you don't vote for the Trump administration, I mean, Christians, will be, they'll be beheading them next year. Come January, come February, boy, it's, it's, we're done. It's over for us. Boy, what, didn't they just say a few years earlier, if you don't vote for Trump, then uh, abortion's going to be legal. Le abortion was already legal, and they didn't do anything about it. This is the Republican line every year. And listen, I am conservative, and I am outspoken politically, and I believe we should be active and involved at whatever level that is righteous with the Lord, where it doesn't put us out of balance. And there is no separation of church and state. It's the church's responsibility to be involved in the state and tell the state when they're wrong. We should stand up and say, and thus saith the Lord, or our nation will be cursed. It's our job to preach the truth. Too many times they just get one big banner and say, well, this is the guy, and, and we get under his flag because he's the tip of the spear for the Republicans, therefore all the Christians have to support him. Why don't Christians just support the Word of God? I feel to come back to us again, you know, our governor, Ron DeSantis, did a lot of favorable things as we went through a shutdown. Many states are still on lockdown. He did a lot of good things, and yet some of the legislation he's passing now seems very nefarious. But, you know, here in the next few years when they say, hey, Ron DeSantis for president, well, he's going to fix it all. If we don't vote for DeSantis, you're not a Christian. Beware. Be warned. Be careful. Politics is what ruined this nation that we're reading about here. And I want to make sure that we're not voting to try to be free, hoping that some man will give us the liberty that we deserve. Listen, God-given freedom in Christ. Christ has made us free through the power of the gospel, and we set the captives free by preaching the gospel. So speak ye, and so do, as they that shall be judged by the law of liberty.